Oh, there's a leak. Today we're gonna to be testing out the Perway TDLAS sensor. It's a laser that quantifies the methane emissions. When oil rises to the surface under pressure, it comes with hydrocarbon gases, including methane. Methane, it's what people burn in their homes to power their boilers and that kind of thing. So it's very useful. So plugging leaks means you've got more of the stuff, which obviously is good news. So it means actually it can be profitable. Even though methane is the primary ingredient of natural gas, it is mostly considered waste. It is responsible for about 30% of human-caused global warming. 80 times the global warming potential of CO2 over a 20-year period. You know, the federal government is really cracking down on emissions as far as these oil and gas assets out in the field. For the first time, the federal government would require oil and gas producers to detect and fix methane leaks. Did you find anything? Yep, I found a leak. The EPA wants companies to flare it or burn it to reduce the pollution impact or even better, redirect that methane for a more useful purpose. And you know, a lot of the companies have been doing it on the ground. Drones can just do it much more efficient. You know, it takes so long to walk a pad, you gotta climb the ladders, you gotta inspect each valve. Um, versus using it with a drone, I mean, you get, you get eyes up in the air, you could cover a lot, a lot of ground a lot quicker from the drone versus walking the pad physically with a handheld scanner. Part of these new regulations will require gas companies to use infrared cameras to scan for gas. So the optical gas imagery camera will visualize the methane cloud versus this camera, the TDLAS, is going to quantify that cloud. So how much methane is actually coming out of that valve or that asset? Oh man, we're at three to four, even up to 5,000 ppm. It allows you to generate better reports and more accurate so that you can come back and say, look, this is a big leak, we need to fix it or else we run the risk of being fined. Five gas companies have been fined $55,000 each for methane reporting violations. I think a lot of people would be surprised that the federal government doesn't already detect and fix or require these oil companies to detect and fix methane leaks. A lot of utilities do it on their own, Lena, but uh, it's, it was not been a requirement until now. You'll uh, create the mission in the, uh, in the flight app on the controller, have the drone fly its route. Once the drone lands, throw it into uh, to their software, generates a report so that, and that way you know exactly how much methane is coming out of that pad. The more engineering infrastructure, the more wells and the more pipes, the more potential there is for leakage. Now, this doesn't exactly mitigate all walking and handheld. I mean, you know, you find the leak with the drone, cover a lot more uh, area in a shorter amount of time, and then after the fact, I know exactly where that leak is, so I'm not wasting my time looking at things on the ground at every single valve. I cover it quickly with the drone, pinpoint where the leak is, and then go in on foot and try and assess the, uh, assess the situation better. This work is 365, seven days a week. I mean, you, uh, there's, there's hundreds of thousands of wells that need to be inspected on a semi-annual to annual basis.